Hey, Nick Martinez, the Keto Dad here. And as a kid, one of my favorite desserts was peanut butter fudge. I remember eating that and just loving it. And I found a keto recipe for peanut butter fudge. And guess what? It is easy. You're going to want to make this. You're going to even make it tonight because it's so simple to do. Literally talking four ingredients. So here we go. I'm just having it because my wife doesn't like peanut butter fudge, but I do. Uh, so we got a half of a cup of coconut oil. Then we have a half of a cup of peanut butter. Now you can just uh, heat them up a little bit, like in the microwave, or you can, uh, you can actually put it in a blender and just blend it together. What I'm gonna do is take it over here to the stovetop and heat it up a little bit until it mixes nice and together and becomes nice and creamy. All right, so honestly, it does not take a whole lot to get this to uh, become creamy and come together. Next thing that we're going to do is add a little bit of swerve. This is powdered swerve. You can actually add like whatever sweetener you want if you have some liquid stevia that you want to put in there. I'm just going to do uh, a tablespoon and a half of uh, swerve. And then the last thing that I'm going to add is two tablespoons of almond milk. So here we go. One tablespoon two tablespoons of almond milk. Now, the recipe calls for vanilla almond milk and unsweetened. So I'm just going to take a splash of vanilla and we should be good to go. Those ingredients mix together so easily. Now what I'm going to do is pour it into a just a bread pan that I put some parchment paper on the bottom. This is probably going to be a little bit thin because the recipe does call for twice as much and we halved it, but We'll see how it turns out. I've never put parchment paper in the bottom of a bread pan, so I don't know if this is gonna work that great or not, but let's see. All right, we're gonna stick it in the fridge now for about two hours, and we'll see what happens after it, uh, it kind of settles. Two hours in the refrigerator, and oh my goodness, we have ourselves some fudge. Check it out, looks pretty good. Let's see if we can pull it out, oh look at that. Uh oh, we got a little bit of a hole in our paper. We got some fudge left over there. Can't let that go to waste. Now, this is why you use this paper. We probably could have done a little better job of layering it in there, but we're learning. Look at that. You get to cut it. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Let's do one more row here. Check it. Peanut butter fudge. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Okay. It was actually really good. I was a little concerned because of the amount of coconut oil and sometimes it doesn't, does, doesn't taste really great. This actually tastes really good. I like it. Now there is an option if you check the recipe in the comments to do a little chocolate drizzle over it. That might be pretty good too. But comment below if you make this, I wanna see a picture of it. If it's something that you do at home, comment. If you have a dessert that you absolutely love, tell me what your favorite one is in the comments as well. So another fun recipe from Nick Martinez, the Keto Dad. Keeping it simple, keeping it fun, keeping it keto.